Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Celebrities are the royalty of the MTV generation, except with less fancy hats and a few less cousins marrying each other. We're obsessed with them. Their love lives, their shows and performances, their outfits. And thanks to the very superficial nature of the celebrity world and how it's presented, it's easy to just assume that most of these famous people are all as dumb as each other. It's often said that the camera adds 10 pounds. Well, it doesn't seem like any of that is brain matter. But don't believe everything you read. Today, we're looking at the top 10 celebrities who are smarter than you think. Here at the Daily Top 10s, we have plenty of celebrity followers. There's that guy, you know, the one who was in that movie, and the woman with the hair, the singer one. Just hit subscribe and you'll be part of their fabulous world. Number 10, Lisa Kudrow. For actors and actresses, it's very hard for the public to separate their real personalities from their more famous on-screen personas, especially when those personas defined an entire generation. For many people, Friends is the TV show of the 90s, and Phoebe was its ditzy clown, a woman with a lot of heart, but slightly less going on above that. But the same cannot be said for Lisa Kudrow. She has a bachelor's degree in biology, and while she was getting into comedy and acting, she was earning credits by helping her father's research into headaches. Perhaps Smelly Cat was really being fed aspirin and whale music. Number 9. Brian May Brian May shot to fame as the guitarist of Queen, giving us a mountain of memorable riffs. But Freddie was not the only Mercury in Brian's life. In 2007, he received his PhD in astrophysics from Imperial College of London. In fact, his parents were skeptical about his decision to leave his studies in the late 60s to pursue music. He had just graduated with a bachelor with honors in physics, so they assumed he would continue to follow in the path of Hawking, Newton, and Galileo. Galileo Figaro Magnifico. Number 8. Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher likes to play dumb. Like, he's really, really good at playing dumb. If you've ever seen that 70s show or Dude Where's My Car, then you'll be convinced that the man would struggle to pack his own lunch. It's all a facade, though. The man has some serious gray matter going on. As his acting career took off, he quietly went about investing in tech firms and now runs his own venture capital business. And before you assume he's just another soulless businessman, he runs an organization called Thorn that fights human trafficking, especially of children. Yeah, he is a pretty great dude. Number 7. Conan O'Brien Now, you don't get far as a comedian if you don't have a bit of brain, but you also don't need to be a rocket scientist to say you look like a fat or thin version of a famous person and then talk about your sex life. Yeah, take that, stand-up comedy. Conan, or Coco as he's nicknamed, is in a slightly different league, though. He was one of the top graduates from Harvard University, specializing in history and literature. He actually briefly dated our first brain box, Lisa Kudrow, early on in their careers. Number 6. Dexter Holland The punk rock band The Offspring were huge in the 90s, and their third album, Smash, still holds the record as the biggest selling album on an independent label. But with songs like Pretty Fly for a White Guy and Self Esteem, it would be easy to assume they really were just a bunch of punks. Well, lead singer and guitarist Dexter Holland is helping to hunt for a cure for AIDS using his PhD in molecular biology. Oh, and he also runs a record label, sells his own brand of hot sauce, and is a certified flight instructor. Yeah, about that self-esteem thing? Number 5. David Duchovny Even if David Duchovny won five Oscars, scored the winning touchdown in the Super Bowl, and saved the planet from nuclear disaster, he'd still be remembered as Fox Mulder from the X-Files. 
and the actor more than lives up to the spooky smarts. Duchovny took a BA in literature from Princeton and then went and upgraded it to an MA at Yale. He's published a couple of books and released a rock album. So the man is smart. The proof is out there. Number four, Matthew Flamini. Now, Matthew Flamini is probably not as famous as the other people on the list, but he's a decent soccer player who's won a few leagues and cups with Arsenal and AC Milan. Soccer players have a reputation as being a little airheaded, thanks to having focused on the sport and not education from a very young age. So what's special about Flamini? Did he write a book? Did he get a fancy degree? He actually founded GF Biochemicals, who became a major player in the green sector, producing biofuel. The company is on track to be worth a billion dollars, which is what most soccer players will soon be paid per hour. Number three, Arnold Schwarzenegger. With his huge muscles, cartoonish accent, and funny quotes, it would be easy to write off Arnie as a meathead who just got lucky. But he actually became a millionaire before his movie career even started. He had some fame from winning Mr. Universe, but this didn't come with an awful lot of cash. So he took his winnings and started investing. He set up a gym in Munich using his bodybuilding to publicize it. In the US, he created a mail order business that sold workout advice and various training equipment. He also ran a bricklaying business marketed as specialty European bricklaying. And to push himself into seven figures, he simply started flipping houses, buying, doing them up, selling them on. I'll be back. For a decent return on his investment. Number two, Dr. Oz. If you've ever watched Dr. Oz's show or seen some of the deeply unscientific products that he promotes, you might wonder if Doctor is just his first name, because surely this man can't have any real qualifications. Well, it turns out that he's actually one of the most talented chest surgeons of all time. There were few better people than him on the planet. But just like finding out that Ben Carson really was a brain surgeon, it's hard not to think, this guy? You mean this guy? That one. Really? Huh. Weird. Number one, Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton is actually a lot smarter than... Okay, we're only joking. <laughs> Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Please subscribe to Daily Top 10. <laughs> Please subscribe to the list of things. Please subscribe to Daily Top Thanks. Woo!